The Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated is honored this evening to host its first virtual Jabberwock Gala. We would like to take this time to welcome our soarers, guests, friends, and debutante parties to this grand and illustrious occasion. Our 2022 Jabberwock theme is Becoming The Pursuit of Black Excellence The Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated celebrates four pillars of history. Thanks so much for joining us this evening as we make history, or should I say, history. Now we ask that you sit back, relax and enjoy the 2022 Virtual Jabberwock Gala sponsored by the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, please receive the President of the Durham Alumni Chapter, Dean Holland. Good evening, good evening, and welcome one and all. We are so excited that you took time out to be with us this evening for our inaugural virtual Jabberwock Gala. Now, although this is the first one that we're doing in this digital space, we are not new to Jabberwock. Durham Alumni Chapter has been engaged and involved with our Jabberwock program for more than 60 years. And we are so excited about that. We are so proud of that. For more than 60 years, we have been helping young people in our community go to college. This evening, we are thrilled and excited to introduce you to our eight amazing debutantes. With so much going on in the world right now, we are still blessed and fortunate and honored to be able to celebrate them with you tonight. So as they say, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed. Thank you and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, please receive Trish Harleston, first vice president of the Durham Alumni Chapter with this evening's prayer. Good evening, everyone. What a great day to celebrate this great occasion. So let us take a moment and acknowledge a great God for all that he has in store on this day. Let us all bow our heads as we go before the Lord. O oh, thou great Jehovah, our God, the creator of all things and the giver of every good and perfect gift. We're grateful for the gift of this day and of the moment that you have ordained for this special occasion. We're grateful, God, for your provision and for your grace. You have prepared these young ladies for this day, so we acknowledge you as we celebrate them and the fact that they are each fearfully, beautifully, and wonderfully made. We offer up this prayer of thanksgiving and of gratitude for the committee who has offered up the sacrifice of, of time and of commitment to make this day a successful event. We're grateful for parents and grandparents and escorts and family and friends who have been encouragers and who have supported throughout this preparation. Now, Lord, we commit it all unto you that you might cause everything to work out for your glory and for their good, that every note might be on tune, that every step might be on beat, that every word might come forth with the power that is only possible through you, and that every heart might walk in the grace that you so freely give. Now, Lord, we thank you for the work and the mission of the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta, who provides these opportunities that shall forever impact the lives of these young people. And though our plans had to be altered, we can't applaud and we can't celebrate in person. We know that you are yet in the midst. And for that, we say thank you. 
Oh, Lord, this is our prayer unto you. It is in Jesus' name that we pray that everyone who loves the Lord say amen. We will now be graced with the occasion by Jabberwock Chair and Second Vice President of the Durham Alumna Chapter Cynthia Trainham, followed by Jabberwock Co-Chair, Kelly Trainham with the introduction of the MCs. Good evening. I am Cynthia Trainham, Second Vice President and Jabberwock Chair for the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I am Kelly Trainham a member of the Durham Alumni Chapter, a Jabberwock co-chair, and might I add, her daughter. We have the awesome privilege of sharing the evening's occasion and introducing our dynamic MCs for the evening. It was a pleasure for Kelly and I to chair the Jabberwock Gala for 2022. A debutante gala is indeed a special night for a young lady. Did you know the first black debutante ball occurred in 1778 in New York? Take a look at the amazing history. Let's keep taking in this history and talk about Jabberwock specifically. Kelly and I love the Jabberwock program and have had so many amazing and rewarding personal experiences with it. Lewis Curl created of the immortal classic, Alice Adventure in Wonderland, wrote a sequel called Through the Looking Glass. In the book, Curl created a magical and an unconventional cat creature called Jabberwock. The Jabberwock would summons all the creatures of his kingdom to put on a show, a gala event. The first Jabberwock gala was presented by the Iota chapter in Boston, Massachusetts in 1925. Jabberwock was designed to assist our youth with gaining and mastering social skills and would be instrumental in their transitions to college while raising money for the boat. The activities the Jabberwock engaged in are focused on building the mind, body, and spirit and social awareness of youth, as well as fostering positive relationships. And it's a lot of fun as well. The Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated introduced the Jabberwock program to the Durham community in 1962. We've been going strong ever since, year after year, with the exception of 2021, where we didn't have a Jabberwock because of the pandemic. We are so happy to be back with you and for the 2022 Jabberwock Gala event. Good evening, my name is Kelly Trainum, Jabberwock Co-Chair, and I have the privilege and honor tonight to introduce our MCs, Reverend Dr. Sterling E. Friedman and Michelle Graham Friedman, a couple in the Durham community that showcases Black excellence. Let me tell you a little bit more about them. Michelle Graham Friedman is a daughter, wife, mom, and an educator. In fact, she has taught Spanish for nearly three decades, students in pre-K, first, and sixth through eighth grade. Michelle has developed competency of hundreds of students, enhanced their appreciation for the diversity in Spanish culture. Michelle's teaching philosophy is student-centered, and she has become known for enabling her students to experience their education than rather simply receiving it. Throughout her career, Michelle has served as a mentor to all of her students and is primarily known for the counsel and support she has given black girls who are navigating a predominantly white educational institution in their formative and adolescent years. She is dedicated to her students and equally devoted to her community. Michelle has volunteered and participated in the crop walk, 
Girl Scouts of America, and many other organizations. She is a proud member of the Durham alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Sterling E. Freeman is a leadership coach, organizational and cultural change agent, facilitator, counselor, and public speaker. His work is grounded in an equity lens and motivated to achieve justice. Sterling's more than 25 years of experience has equipped him with the knowledge and skills in idea development, project management, personal development, and goal clarification, as well as formal and impromptu speaking. Having been in the Christian ministry since 1996, Sterling also brings a pastoral orientation to his work and is inclined towards deep listening, holding empathy, and meeting people where they are. Along with Kathleen Krabs, Sterling is a co-founder and principal with Counterpart Counseling, LLC, and an associate with Open Source Leadership Strategies. He and his colleagues work with client partners to help them apply a clear racial equity lens to their work. Sterling holds a Doctor of Ministry degree in Global Leadership from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology at Virginia University. Sterling serves on the board of the African American Heritage House in New York, as well as the board of Neighborhood Seminary. Sterling and his wife, Michelle, live in Durham, North Carolina with their daughter, Joya, and he is a proud member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Help me welcome tonight's MCs, Reverend Dr. Sterling E. Friedman and Michelle Graham Friedman. Hello. Thank you, Kelly, for that gracious introduction. I am most grateful to be here, and it is my high honor to share the stage this evening with my wonderful, brilliant, beautiful, and fierce wife, Michelle. As always, we are riding together, and so it is tonight, as MCs for Jabberwock 2022. Hey, gorgeous, you look absolutely amazing tonight. Are you just as hyped as I am to be here? I am super excited. I'm honored to share this MC mic for my chapter's Jabberwock Gala, and I've got my yin to my game, my honey to my tea, my super to my hero, right beside me like we like to do it. Greetings, everyone. Let me tell you, you are all in for a real treat. Sterling and I enjoyed getting to know tonight's debutants and junior marshals, and what a brilliant group of young men and women. If this is our future pursuing excellence, we will be all right. I do want to thank Kelly for that kind and generous introduction as well. So we had the privilege of having a get to know you and jam session with the debutantes and junior marshals. We must be honest, the atmosphere was a little reserved at the beginning, but by the time we finished, everybody had a little balance. Chill, I don't know about you, but I came down from our experience with these young people thinking what a wonderful constellation of rising stars we have in our community. These debutantes and junior marshals are proof positive that our legacy of black genius, innovation, and achievement is secure. Absolutely. They are making big things happen in the classroom, on the field and court, in the pool and in music. And for that reason, ladies and gentlemen, in our virtual audience, we ask you to help us celebrate these young people and continue encouraging them. So let's talk a little bit about tonight. You know, Sterling, this is a lovely stage design. What a creative way to help us touch on all the different dimensions of history. We'll see tonight with one of them being a 60 year tour 60 years in the game. 
having this museum as the backdrop to help us celebrate the Dorm Alumni chapter's historic strides from 1962 to now reminds me of an African word that encourages us to remember. Oh uh, yes, you must be thinking about Sankofa. Absolutely, that's exactly what I was thinking, Sankofa. Sankofa is a term from the Akan people of Ghana. Indeed, and as our debutantes move through our Jabberwock Museum, they are modeling the behaviors and embodying the spirit of Sankofa. The word is derived from three words, San, to return, Ko, to go, and Fa, look, see, and take. It literally means it is not taboo to go back and get that which was forgotten or left behind. Loosely translated, it means go back and get that which was lost. So this is particularly important for black people in America, as our new back is not only to retrieve that which was lost, but to reclaim that which was stolen. Exactly. Thus, to the Akan, this wisdom in learning from the past ensures a strong future. We also reinforce becoming. Free, this takes me to our theme for tonight. Becoming in pursuit of black excellence. What does becoming in the pursuit of black excellence mean to you, babe? So that's a great question. As I think about becoming the pursuit of black excellence, it reminds me of our rich and complicated history in this country. We have resisted and risen, struggled and succeeded, as you know. Born pain, persevere, and prevail in a place, truth be told, that was built by us, but not for us. So for me, the idea of excellence is synonymous with blackness. And it is a particular lifestyle, a way of being, a way of moving in the world. Blackness is a type of swag. When I look at these young people, I see an emerging generation on their way to becoming who we already are. In the midst of conditions and circumstances that suggest we cannot be, our legacy has been to respond, yes, we can be. Our theme is a reflection of that affirmation, as seen in the outstanding young people we honor this evening. Yes, yes, these 2022 debutantes are becoming a part of the Dormalami chapters. Jabberwock history tonight, they are also creating history for themselves. That's right, Shell. And that's where all the dimensions of history shown tonight are coming into play. So we've already talked about the Durham Alumni chapter celebrating 60 years of Jabberwock this year. It is clear pursuing excellence is not a new thing for this chapter. Durham Alumni and the pursuit of excellence? Man, they woke up like this. Okay, and I've got 22 receipts to prove it. Now, please sit back as we take you on a tour of the Durham Alumni chapter's Jabberwock Black Excellence Museum. Enjoy. Historical Pillar 1 Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated embraces 60 years of Jabberwock history in the city of Durham, North Carolina. Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated celebrates 60 years presenting the annual Jabberwock Gala.
and gentlemen, back to our MCs. Wow, that tour was so dope. That means good, y'all. Did anybody mention Durham alumni and black excellence? Another example of Durham alumni at its finest. To see that history was truly breathtaking. So, we will not delay the moment you have all been waiting for any longer. Without further ado, Sterling and I have the pleasure of introducing you to our Jabberwock 2022 debutantes. Pillar 2 Celebrating 8 young ladies making current history as Jabberwock 2022 debutantes. Our very first debutante is Kalisha Baskerville. Kalisha is a high school senior. She is open to attending three North Carolina colleges this fall. Her top three being the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, Winston-Salem State University, and Fayetteville State University. She's interested in child development and child psychology. Her career goal and aspiration is to own and operate a successful daycare. Kalisha is escorted by Junior Marshal Jason Baskerville, who has an appreciation for music and in his spare time devotes his energy to creating his own beats. When he is not creating his own beats, you can be sure to find him on the basketball court, developing his skills to one day become an NBA player. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kalisha Baskerville. Presenting debutante Taylor Marcella Bond. Taylor is a high school junior. Taylor plans to attend Hampton University where she plans to major in either sports medicine or psychology. Her career goal and aspiration is to become a professional tennis athlete. Taylor is escorted by junior marshal Todd Russell Bond, who is also a high school junior. Todd enjoys music, video games, playing sports, a healthy lifestyle, and socializing with friends. Todd would like to pursue a career as a professional athletic trainer or to become a professional tennis player. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Taylor Marcella Bond. Presenting debutante, Sania Donnell. Sania is a high school senior. She will attend North Carolina A&T State University and plans to major in visual arts and animal science. She aspires to become an animal caretaker and trainer. Sania is very diverse in her love for art. Her desire is to create animation style comic books. She already has a title in mind, Manga. She also enjoys all genres of dance, such as ballet, tap, and jazz. She studied dance for 10 years at Nina's School of Dance. Sania is escorted by junior marshal Jasper K. Donnell IV, who is a high school sophomore and clearly has a head start on his future. He is currently developing his craft through gaming and coding. He aspires to excel in the field of computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Sania Donnell. Presenting debutante, Taylor Cynthia Harding. Taylor is a high school senior who has a host of opportunities for higher learning. She plans to major in public health and eventually become a medical lawyer so that she can affect change in the healthcare system for underserved populations. 
Taylor is escorted by Junior Marshal Brenton Randell Jones II, who is a high school freshman who aspires to become a real estate agent. He already knows his major will be business administration and understands what it will take to make his dream a reality. He enjoys motocross riding, music, and sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Taylor Cynthia Harding. Presenting debutante, Ashe Rian Kelsey. Ashe is a high school senior who will attend Spelman College in the fall. Ashe chose a double major in health science and dance. She plans to pursue a career as an orthopedic physician. She also envisions expanding her dance career in professional settings. Ashe has always displayed elegance and confidence from an early age. This trait was instilled in her by family. She was taught to stand with self-assurance and to be secure in her abilities. Lastly, to always represent her community through service, action, and leadership. Ashe is escorted by Junior Marshal Hanif Harris, a high school junior, who plans to major in financial mathematics post-graduation. His goals and aspiration would be to work in the financial department of a major company and to become an affluent investor before the age of 30. His hobbies include sports and cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Ashe Rian Kelsey. Presenting debutante, Peyton Renee Price. Peyton is a high school senior. In the fall, she will be attending the University of North Carolina Greensboro. She plans to major in computer science. She also is interested in record production. Her career path is to become a video game developer and or music producer. Peyton is escorted by Junior Marshal Derek Hunter who is a high school junior. Derek enjoys spending time with his family and friends, listening to music and playing sports. Derek plans to attend the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, then attend law school to become a criminal defense attorney. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Peyton Renee Price. Presenting debutante Kayla Robinson. Kayla is a high school junior who has developed a love for science. So much, she aspires to eventually become a high school science teacher with a primary focus in chemistry and biology. She is an integral part of her school's biomedical program. Kayla is compelled to show minority kids that anything can be achieved if you believe and put forth the effort. Kayla is escorted by Junior Marshal Christopher Jaden Ivory. Christopher is a high school junior who is a part of his school's engineering program. Christopher enjoys swimming and listening to his favorite artist, J. Cole. He plans to attend North Carolina State University to eventually become a hardware engineer. He also wanted to say that he appreciates the opportunity to support Kayla and the Jabberwock program. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kayla Robinson. Presenting debutante, Anastasia Terry. Anastasia is a high school senior who will be attending Wake Tech Community College in the fall to obtain her associate's degree in social work. Anastasia will then transfer to Winston-Salem State University to obtain her bachelor's degree in social work. Her goal is to become a therapist and to be happy and successful. 
Anastasia is escorted by junior marshal Donnell Estes. He is an extrovert by nature. He loves being around other people. He is a huge fan of the theater and band. Donnell loves to participate in concerts and plays. Performances such as these have helped Donnell build confidence, develop friendships, and explore his natural talent for the arts. Donnell plans to study biology post-graduation and ultimately make a huge impact in the healthcare industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anastasia Terry. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the ladies of the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Incorporated, I present to you, our eight, beautiful, 2022 debutantes. When I was given my first command I led my men into a massacre Witnessed their deaths firsthand Oh, I made every mistake I felt the shame rise in me And even now I lie awake Knowing history, history, history Has its eyes on me History, history, history When I was young and dreamed of glory And know nobody had control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story I know that we can win I know that greatness lies in you But remember, from here on in The history, history, history has its It's time to meet the parents. We're going to also take this time to share the Jabberwock debutante's favorite quote and a woman in history who inspires her and why. Meet Mr. Tennille and Mrs. Shanawa Baskerville, the parents of debutante Kalisha Baskerville. Debutante Baskerville's favorite quote is from Dorothy on The Golden Girl Show. If you take a chance in life, sometimes good things happen. 
Sometimes bad things happen. But honey, if you don't take a chance, nothing happens. She is inspired by Betty White from The Golden Girls because her philosophy was to live life to its fullest and that you can do anything you put your mind to. Meet Mr. Todd Harrison Bond and Mrs. Bernice Bond, the parents of debutante Taylor Marcella Bond. Taylor is encouraged by a quote from Susie Kazim, fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. A woman in history who inspires her is Serena Williams because she's broken so many barriers as an African-American tennis player and has opened many doors for African-American girls. Meet Mr. Jasper Donnell and Mrs. Sanelia Donnell, the parents of debutante, Sania Donnell. Sania's favorite quote is, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment by Ralph Waldo Emerson. She is inspired by Bessie Coleman because despite the racial discrimination and gender bias that existed in the early 1900s, Miss Coleman turned her dream into reality and encouraged black children. Meet Mr. Anthony and Mrs. Abina Harding, the parents of debutante Taylor Harding. Taylor's favorite quote is from Michelle Obama. The only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Toni Morrison's writings have impacted her life because she communicates the trials of African Americans without highlighting white fragility and sensitivity. Meet Duan Thompson Kelsey and Richard Mondibo Kelsey, the parents of debutante Ashe Rian Kelsey. Ashe is encouraged by the African philosophy of Ubuntu. I am only because we are. We are only because I am. Debutante Kelsey has a passion for dance and is inspired by the life of Debbie Allen as a dancer and choreographer because Miss Allen has created hope for so many black women interested in a career in dance. Meet Mr. Henry Lewis Price Jr. and Mrs. Denitra Nicole Price, the parents of debutante Peyton Renee Price. Peyton's favorite quote is, we're on some path that's been set since we're born, but I still believe we can change some things. So I believe in my faith, but still don't believe in my fate. By Kim Nunjum. Mary W. Jackson, the first black woman to be part of NASA's workforce, has inspired her to pursue engineering. Meet Miss Sonia Robinson, the parent of debutante Kayla Robinson. Kayla's favorite quote is by Eleanor Roosevelt and shared by the cartoon character Uwe in Kung Fu Panda. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why we call it the present. As a runner, track and field athlete Allison Felix has impacted Kayla's life. Allison Felix inspires debutante Robinson to put her best foot forward in all running events. Meet Miss Tremekia Terry, the parent of debutante Anastasia Terry. Anastasia's favorite quote is, she believed she could, so she did. Arthur unknown, because the only limit to what you can be is in your mind. Angela Davis is the woman in history that has impacted her life because she is an educated black woman and political activist who fights for the rights of African Americans. And now ladies and gentlemen, back to our MCs. A waltz is a piece of music with a rhythm of three beats in each bar, which people can dance to. The basic movement of the waltz is a three-step sequence 
consisting of a step forward or backward, a step to the side, and a step closing the feet together. The father-daughter dance is regarded as a beautiful moment between the debutant and their father or guardian and symbolizes their appreciation for the love and guidance they received throughout their life. Oh, I remember the Jabberwock walks. I bet you do, as Joy reminded you. Count, Daddy, count. Don't mess up on the stage, Daddy. Count, please. And I was glad, so very glad, that I could at least count to three. And that was an unforgettable moment. I cried like a baby. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated presents to you the Jabberwock 2022 debutantes and their, their fathers and guardians becoming in the pursuit of black excellence. The Junior Marshals will now be featured in Dance to the Song Hurricane by Kanye West and Weekend. All lights out for me, lightning strikes the beach. 80 degrees, warm it up for me.
Pillar 3. Celebrating each individual debutante as they create their personal history. Ladies and gentlemen, please receive Miss Jalia Donhell, Miss Jabberwock 2020. I am thankful to be Miss Jabberwock 2020. First and foremost, I am thankful to God. Thank you to my supporters through the entirety of my Jabberwock journey and further through my life experiences that have helped me through every step of the way and made me the person I am today. Thank you to my grandparents, Charles and Thomasina Legrand, my mom and dad, Sinelia and Jasper Donnell, my aunt Gina, my cousin Renita, my aunt Elmira who is now deceased, and many more unnamed. All of my friends and family, and my church, St. Mark Amy Zion. Thank you, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, for all of the special experiences, as well as the opportunity to earn a scholarship to further my education. To the Jabberwock 2022 debutantes, continue to be true to yourselves while following your paths and flourish. You are becoming in pursuit of black excellence. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, back to our MCs. We are pleased to announce that our Jabberwock 2022 debutantes will receive a two-piece pearl set long formal gloves, a floral kissing ball, and a hanging organizer. The first and second runners up will receive a garment bag. Our 2022 queen will receive a five piece luggage set. The court will also receive trophies. The junior marshals will receive a $25 gift card. In addition, each debutante will receive a scholarship towards college expenses. Nice, nice gifts, and I am sure a good time has been had by all. That's right, Pree. Ladies and gentlemen, we know you are on the edges of your seats. So let us get to the finale. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible evening this has been. I would like to congratulate and thank our debutantes our junior marshals, and our parents for participating in the 2022 Jabberwock program and gala, Becoming the Pursuit of Black Excellence. And we have certainly been surrounded by Black excellence tonight. We are so very proud of these young people and excited about their futures. And now, my soror, Nakiba McDaniel, is going to share a little bit more about our scholarships. Nakiba, thank you, Madam President. As the Assistant Financial Secretary of Durham Alumni Chapter, I am here to recognize the fundraising efforts of the eight Jabberwock contestants who are on their way to becoming the pursuit of Black excellence. These young ladies and their families have worked extremely hard during their fundraising efforts, and they should be acknowledged. As a result of their efforts, this scholarship program will contribute. Are you ready? I hope I am. What is All right. it? Tell us. Audience, are you ready? Probably not. $111,426. Please do. $111,000. Yes. Did you all hear that? Yes. More than a hundred and eleven thousand yes. dollars for our scholarships. Yes. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. That is wonderful. This amount can be contributed to our eight Jabberwock contestants and selected high school scholars who live in is that a epitome yes. of serving our community? Yes. Uplifting scholarship people? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. To yes. help them go to school. That's excellent. Yes. 
Congratulations to all our Jabberwock Debutante contestants, and thank you to all the supporters for your generous donations. And now, we will announce our scholarship recipients and the 2022 Jabberwock Court. Madam President, yes. would you like to read? I most certainly would. Yes, you are. Lovely. I'm yes. almost afraid to open it. <laughs> Please don't. The audience is waiting. But I know everybody's about to die. But to your point, Nakiba, um, absolutely. We want to thank all of our community supporters, everyone who helps us um, raise money for these young people, whether you bought a plate or wrote a check or met them at the mall, whatever you did to support these young people. Please know. Please know. That we are eternally grateful and so, yes. so thankful yes. for your support. And before we do this, let me also say, I uh, want to announce that our first interest meeting for our 2023 Jabberwock uh, Gala and program will be in mid April. And we want to point you to our website where the date will be posted. So please take a look out on the website in the coming days. Uh, where, or actually coming weeks, where we'll have our um, interest meeting date posted for our 2023 Jabberwock program. So you now, just, you just you just killed the piece of I know. <laughs> so, 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 so. Without further ado, without further ado, receiving scholarships tonight in alphabetical order, Miss Kalisha Baskerville. Congratulations, Alicia. Miss Sanaya Donnell. Congratulations, Sanaya. Miss Ashe Kelsey. Congratulations, Ashe. Miss Kayla Robinson. Congratulations, Kayla. And Miss Anastasia. Harry, congratulations to all of our scholarship winners. And now, this time, I am pleased and proud to announce your 2022 Jabberwock Court. The Jabberwock 2022 second runner-up is Ms. Taylor Harding. Congratulations, Taylor. Our Jabberwock 2022 first runner-up is Miss Taylor Bond. Congratulations, Taylor. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Your beloved chapter 2022, Miss Jabberwock, our queen of the night, Miss Peyton Price. Thank you all so very much. Congratulations to our winners. And they are all just that. They are all winners. We are so excited for them. Congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the ladies of the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, I present to you, our 2022 Miss Jabberwock Court. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, second runner-up, Miss Taylor Harding. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, first runner-up, Miss Taylor Bond. And our Miss Jabberwock Queen 2022, Miss Peyton Price.
And now ladies and gentlemen, back to our MCs. Congratulations to all the debutantes on their wonderful achievements. This has been a night to remember. Please allow us to express our sincere thanks for the opportunity to be your MCs for this evening. We are grateful to all who helped make it happen. And you can bet your last money. It's been a stone, Dad, honey. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. The Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated embraces history with the successful completion of its inaugural virtual Jabberwock Gala. Ladies and gentlemen, please receive President Janine Holland with closing remarks. Wow. Wow. Wasn't that wonderful? We are so excited. Wasn't that wonderful? I hope you all really enjoyed that as much as we did. I want to say congratulations to our 2022 Jabberwock Queens Court. They are beautiful and we are so excited about their future. I also want to provide a special thank you to their families and for all of the hard work that they did, all of the support that they provided, all the long hours that they tolerated without their families and their loved ones, tonight would not have been possible. Also a special thank you to all of us and all of you in our community who also supported our Jabberwock debutantes. Whether you bought an ad, made a donation, drove them somewhere, supported us in any way, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. And then lastly, I want to provide a special thank you, a super special thank you to the sorors of Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Without our chapter members, the support and dedication, again, tonight would not have been possible. And to our Jabberwock committee, their subcommittees, the chairs, the co-chairs, oh my God, our chairs, our dynamic duo, Cynthia Trainer and our 2016 Jabberwock Queen, her daughter, Kelly Trainer. thank you to the, those two ladies. And then finally, to our fabulous MCs of the evening, the Reverend Dr. Sterling Freeman and his beautiful wife and my soror, Mrs. Michelle Graham Freeman. Again, without them, tonight would not have been the spectacular event that it has been. So we thank them, and we hope that they know that they're on the hook moving forward. They will do this again for us. And so in closing, just thank you again for your support. We have been um, delighted. We are delighted that you have been here and taken this time with us. Congratulations again to our Jabberwock, all of our participants, and to the Queen's Court for 2022. Thank you. And good night. On behalf of the ladies of the Durham Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, we thank you for your time, energy, and contributions. Thanks for attending, and we bid you a heartfelt fond adieu. Together, we're polishing up our ass.